attacked the fort at Jhansi. Their heavy guns bombarded it. The Rani's troops fought back bravely. Among them was Jhalkari. Never once leaving her beloved queen's side, she rode from one point to another, firing at British soldiers with a steady hand and sure aim. See, as I told you, Jhalkari was the lady, a brave lady. She was the most trusted companion of the queen and she supported the queen in this war. She did not left the queen for one second also in the war. She wanted to be her there, uh, be her safe who? The Rani. Okay, she wanted the Rani to be safe and she was there standing by her side till her last breath. Okay. The enemy fell back. They had not expected such a strong defense of the fort. The British commander telegraphed. Telegraph means what? Uh, sending some message through the telegraph. Okay. For help and more troops come, came rushing in. But the army of the Rani still held on. When the British found that they could make no progress, they decided to gain entry into the fort by stealth at night. Now what is stealth? Stealth means in a secret manner. Okay, in a secret manner. They bribed a man named Dolaji Thakur, a gunner who was in charge of the south gate of the fort. Now see. It was not an easy task, the British understood this because uh, the war which broke between whom the Britishers and the army of Rani, the war was equally going on, okay, it was not an easy task, Britishers thought that we will be conquering the fort very early but it was not an easy task because the army was prepared, it was fully prepared and the army, the soldiers were fighting till their last breath to do what, to defense the what the fort? So here we can say that Rani Lakshmi Bai and Jhangari played a vital role. And what exactly happened? See, now since we know that it was a not it was not a small task for the British army that they can occupy the fort very easily. So what they did? They started cheating. They started adopting the ways which were not good. They, they bribed, they gave, they tempted a person named who? Dolaji Thakur. Who was this Dolaji Thakur? Dolaji Thakur was the person who took care of the south door, right? The south gate of the fort. So they wanted, who wanted? The Britisher wanted to enter in the fort because here they have understood that it is not an easy task that we will get an entry in the fort so easily. So what we can do is, we have to give bribe or we have to tempt the person who is taking care of the south gate, right? So that it will be easy for us to get inside and conquer what? And conquer the fort easily, right? In return for a large sum of money, Dolaji led them to a spot where there was a break in the wall and the soldier made their way into the fort in the dead of night, as they began to climb in, Jhankari saw them and sounded the alarm. With loud cries, the Rani's army took up and fight, took up the fight and opened fire and attackers fell back. Now see, as soon as Britishers were allowed, as soon as Dolaji told the secret of how exactly to enter the fort, the Britishers, without wasting any time, entered the fort. They started entering the fort and everybody was sleeping. It was a night time, okay? Jalkari was awake and Jalkari saw that someone is doing what? They are coming inside the fort. And who were they? They were the Britishers. All of a sudden she started to shout. She gave an alarm and she did what? She alarmed everybody, the army to get back to the work. That is again to fight back because now the Britishers are in the fort. Previously, they were fighting the Britishers from outside, but now since Dolaji Thakur is bribed by the Britishers, now the Britishers are inside the fort and now the army is fighting back with the Britishers again and the war again starts. Okay? The fighting continued during the days and nights that followed. Though the Indian troops were full of daring, they could not withstand the 
of British attacks, the enemy fought their way steadily until they reached the palace. So, Britishers finally reached the palace because, see, Indian soldiers fought till their last breath. They were so fearlessly fighting without any kind of what? Any kind of, uh, uh, you can say, any kind of confusion or any kind of doubt in their mind. They just wanted freedom and they were just fighting for the, the Queen's palace. For the betterment of what? For the betterment of the uh, place where they are staying. It was their responsibility. They were fighting for their motherland, right? But Britishers came to the palace, okay? Because they could not withstand the Britishers' attack. See, Britishers' attack, they could not withstand the Britishers' attack. Here means what? Britishers were totally, fully equipped with what? With different kinds of weapons, okay? It may be. We are just saying it may be. And this was the only reason that they were successful to come to the palace, okay? Three more days of fierce fighting followed. Now the queen's advisors begged her to go out of the fort to a safe place. Though reluctant at first, Lakshmi Bai agreed in the end. Dressed in armor and carrying a dagger and two revolvers, she rode unrecognized through the enemy lines down the hillside and out of one of the gates. Now see, since the Britishers now have come to the palace, the followers and the companions of Rani Lakshmi Bai are now begging. They are just telling her to please leave because they wanted their queen to live. They wanted their queen to go and go to a safer place. Okay, so now they are begging that please go. Please go from here because we are all surrounded by Britishers and if you stay here it will not be uh, good for you. They will kill you. So we want you to go outside and find a better place, a safe place so that you can stay there. Although Rani Lakshmi Bai was not willingly going, she was not uh, first willing to go. She was reluctant. Okay, but then with a great thought she left or she finally uh, decided to leave the palace and what she did she dressed in armor and carrying a dagger and two revolvers she rode unrecognized through the enemy lines down the hillside and out of one of the gates so she did what she dressed herself like a soldier okay carrying dagger in her hand dagger means what talwar okay you can say a kind of talwar you can say it's a kind of weapon okay so she was carrying a dagger in her hand and two revolvers okay so uh, rani lakshmi bai disguised herself uh, like a soldier okay so that nobody could recognize her nobody here means what the british army could not recognize her and she will find a way out so to go out from the uh, that particular way and to go out from the fort and find a safer side and a safe side for her to uh, sustain okay Jalgari went with her for a part of the way. Now see, when Rani Lakshmi Bai went away, Jalgari was following her. Okay, she accompanied her. Who? Rani Lakshmi Bai. Jalgari went with her for a time. Okay, for some time she went. And she went with her. She, uh, she did all the arrangements for her. Okay, as soon as she knew the Rani was safe, Jalgari disguised in Lakshmi Bai's clothes and riding her white horse, returned to the fort. Okay, now see, when Lakshmi Bai was finally taken to a safe place, Rani Lakshmi Bai was safe and now Jalgari, you know, she disguised herself as what? Rani Lakshmi Bai and she was riding the horse which Rani Lakshmi Bai rode while uh, she was there in the fort. Okay, so everybody thought that this is Rani Lakshmi Bai. Why? Because see, Jalgari went with Rani Lakshmi Bai, Jalgari went there, she kept Lakshmi Bai Britishers, she wanted the Britishers to think that she is Rani Lakshmi Bai. 
let us kill her okay the commander sorry the british soldiers saw her and mistaking her for the rani as she had intended them to do surrounded her they led her to their commander and see whatever she was thinking who jalgari as the plan britishers surrounded her and the britishers took her to the commander who is the commander the person who is leading the army okay the british commander okay so everybody the britishers just arrested jalgari 